and follow the bears right there. Everybody. Nobody has ever won the world champs by nearly 12 seconds, <laughs> and you don't know who Danny Hart is. He is the man. Okay. So how do you, who's Danny Hart to you? Why is he he's, so important? He's my son. Why do you think he's so important? <laughs> <laughs> He's my son. Look at the time, man! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the balls time! Like that. How does he sit down? Oh, oh my god! Balls like that. How does he sit down? You've got to have big balls to yeah, be well, downhill, that's, that's, what, that's what he's sitting in the country. <laughs> Did he? I wonder where he is. <laughs> I want to come a little bit closer, Mr. MotoGP. Um, from a father's perspective, watching your son, talk about, you know... I can't hardly watch, to be honest. Oh, wow! I can't hardly watch. Why? Just nerves. Yeah. Nerves that he does well, not that he's going to crash. If he crashes, he crashes. I mean, that's it. But just, I get nervous for him because I know how badly he wants it. And he's had a couple of, a couple of um, tough races this year. He's finished seventh in the world overall. But He's missed two races, one through injury, on oh, one he crashed. So he's, he's doing okay. What is he's massive, massive. From a father's perspective, if you can share, I have so much respect for the athletes because yes. we only see the winner. Yes. Talk us through again. Me and Danny are just like that, right. like that, because we're very much alike. Okay. Um, but I just want the best for him and he knows deep down that and he does show his gratitude now and then yeah. but mainly we uh, you, can know. But, you know I've brought him no connect like banging heads when did you talk us through you know the father did you notice the talent yeah, how do exactly. you know the I talent? knew when he was eight right. when he was uh, BMXing okay. and I sacrificed a lot of my life I used to race, not MotoGP level, but I used to race, packed all that in, yeah. and um, put everything into Danny. Um, the, his school was really, um, really good. He wasn't, uh, wasn't brilliant at school, but I knew if we, we did what he, you know, and now he, he's made it and he's been world champion, but he's yet to win a World Cup, which he needs to get that monkey off his back. He's been yeah. so close, but to try and you just there's ten riders at the top who could win a world cup. Yeah. Um, Aaron Gwynn at the moment's killing it. He's probably favourite for the weekend, but who knows? I interviewed um, Garmin and Sky t uh, Team Sky yesterday yes. in the Vuelta. They're about it's about the story. It's not about the win. Oh well, Danny. See, I'm just an electrician. We we had no money. Not a lot. No, we never had yeah. no money. But just normal. Yeah. yeah. And. Danny is, is like Paul, feet on the ground, he'll talk to anybody, you know, on uplifts, um, we get, when we were selling t-shirts, we were selling t-shirts to Vietnam, wow. we were sending t-shirts to people who didn't have an address, it was, uh, it was crazy and he has such a lot of fans all over the world. In Andorra this week? It's a tough track. I've been on it literally yeah. on my ass. The more I rain, the better. We need it to rain more. Right. Okay. You hearing that, God? Really? We gotta sing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the rain is for traction. Why? Or is no, that his skill set? Because it brings everything, like Paul will know in MotoGP, it brings everything down to a, a level. You um. know? Um, and it's really down to skill, not just flat out speed. Right. Um, so we're gonna cheer for Danny Hart. Yeah, God, yeah, I'm gonna go up there. Oh, we're gonna we're sure, gonna get yeah. the interview, father and son. You need to watch. I, I hate. I, I never watched the race, but it, it's it's been on the interview in, in internet last week. Right. It just keeps popping up, and okay. millions of people have seen it. But I get sick of people talking about it because that was in 2011. Right. But Danny's still at the top. He's yeah. still making a good oh, living. Yeah. And, and, um, I think um, with downhill mountain bike, the age, you can go up into your 40s. Or as I? long as you can stay fit. I mean, uh, Steve Pete, 36, right, Steve. 37. Yeah. Unbelievable. You know? Um, so, yeah, no, as long as you stay fit, stay healthy, but he has such a good team around him, as in his team, as in me, his coach, his mum. It's a big family thing. Applied for the women, I interviewed the women today, the New Zealanders, and they're like, it's hard for us girlies up there. You shouldn't be women up there. What the hell? Why do you want women here? Because... They're so slow. 
<laughs> Seriously. We did a, Danny did a race last year, Red Bull Hardline. Right. And he, that was raced by Red Bull and, and uh, G. Atherton in the UK. Yeah. And even Danny was going to some jumps and thinking, oh shit. That's line. what it should be like. There shouldn't be chicken runs for the girls. Right. You know, I'm sorry, but that's. Well, we'll stick get there. Washing up. We'll get there. Oh my goodness. You are talking. <laughs> washing up. That's what these hands were made for. Actually, I just fractured my hand. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, that's cool. But hey. I'm going to I know you are. <laughs> All right, I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to talk. Thank you so much. <laughs> I want to talk about this. Sure. This gentleman. Where are These weekend, this is the guy. 